Well, we thought we'd uh, come out to Mill Creek Metro Parks Farm, talk to Lynn Zocalo a little bit. Uh, you have a field trip, some kids coming today. I do, I have third graders coming. And I have a third grade level of questions to ask you, <laughs> but I can't help it because I've been thinking about this for a while and I knew you would know the answers. Are you well, ready? I'll give it my best. All right, let's take me back to fifth grade science. The reason the trees lose their color of green is because? Well, they're getting ready to shut down to conserve energy for winter. Okay. So that's all our deciduous trees. Mm -hmm. um, and the chlorophyll, the green in the leaves, mm -hmm. takes a lot of energy to maintain. Okay. So the leaves are uh, very needy. So once fall gets here and we have sunny days but longer, cooler nights, mm -hmm. that signals the tree, which is an awesome like machine piece of machinery, uh -huh. that to go ahead and get ready to shut down and one of the things is to get rid of those leaves. Our peak this year in Northeast Ohio, Western Pennsylvania is? We're supposed to be around October 9th um, to the third week in October. How do they determine that? Is it the same every year or does it go by the weather? It is not the same everywhere okay. or every year, okay. good question. Um, it's dependent on the weather. Okay. So whether we've had, you know, we've had a really dry spring. Yeah. We've had a really dry summer. We're actually in a drought. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna affect when the timing is. Is that bad for the trees? It, it doesn't help them any. It okay. kind of puts some stress on it. So some of the trees that maybe we saw turning colors a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, those may be trees that were a little bit stressed. Okay, and then some of them are already starting to change. Oh, absolutely, yes. If I have a tree in my yard and this year it's orange, does that mean that tree is orange every single year or does it fluctuate? Well, I would say yes and no. Okay, good. <laughs> it depends. For the most part, each species of tree is consistent with their colors. Okay. So your red maples, you will get the red color. Okay. Okay. But it also depends on genetics as well as of the parent tree. Um, so it, it's a yes and no question. It's not really exact every year, but for the most part, I would say you're good that that tree's gonna be the same color. So it doesn't have anything to do with the soil or anything like that? Not it's, really, it's no. It's the tree itself. It's the tree itself. Okay. And then the court, mother nature always wins. Yeah. So whatever she calls, that's what the trees have to deal with. Okay, uh, say it's orange every year. Is there a brighter year or a more dull year? Um, the, the vibrancy of the color mm -hmm. depends on the weather. Okay. So if we've had that perfect weather conditions of sunny days, um, cool temperatures at night, we've had enough rain, not too much wind, then the colors are, are more likely to be more vibrant. Is there a reason some trees are turning earlier than others? Um, you know, that's a really good question as well. They are, some could be where they're located. Okay. Some could be in a protected area. Okay. Okay. Um, some could be just ready to change. Okay. You know, just the fall color. Last question, is this going to be a good year for the vibrancy and the color of the trees? In, in your opinion, with all the weather that we've had? Um, I think it will be, yes. Okay. And the Ohio Department of Natural Resources kind of um, agrees with that. Okay. Um, they're kind of our go-to people when it comes to fall foliage. Um, and they're agreeing that it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful fall. Thank you, Lynn. You're welcome, Mike. Enjoy the colors, everybody.